Yo, what's poppin' guys? Welcome back. Or not welcome back. Welcome to a, uh, another tutorial in Scratch. Uh, today I'm here with my chat. We're streaming on YouTube and Twitch. Twitch.tv slash DKUniverseTV. We're having some fun. You can see them all. They're all over there. If you guys want to say hi, feel free to say hi. Today in this tutorial, we are going to be showing you how to make a, uh, a character creator or like an avatar creator. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by, we're going to start by just deleting this cat. Okay. And then we're going to make a nice little backdrop. Now you can feel free to choose a backdrop from this menu, which is what I'm going to do just for some, just for some basic, just for, just, just for the sake of making this, making this quick. Let's make this light backdrop. I think this looks very nice. So what we're going to do is we are going to design uh, what your player can look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new sprite and I am just going to make like a character, right? Let's just have it. Let's have it just be like, like, a, like almost like a stick guy, right? He's got like a face and a body. Two things, a face and a body on your character. Just something super, super simple like this. Just, just, just for an example. Set it to a size that looks pretty nice. I think this looks nice. So we're gonna put it in like that. Okay. We're gonna just call this character. Now what we can do is we can have it go to that location when the, when the project starts. So we can do when the green flag is clicked, go to wherever you have it located on your stage and then show. So you see if we move it and then press the green flag, it'll go back to where it's supposed to be. Fantastic. So now what we can do is we can set up a few different eyes, right? So let's say you want, you want some eyes. So let's make a new sprite, right? We're going to call this sprite eyes. Okay, and now you can design some some eyes that the player might want to have their character look like. Right? Oh. So let's just grab this, Control C and Control V to copy it. And then if you if you hold down, oh my goodness. If you copy it by using Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac, and then Control or Command V to paste it, if you hold down Shift, you'll actually be able to move the entirety of the thing on an axis. A nice little plane. So feel free to center these now and put them where they would be on the character. Just like that. Now, you can label that one if you want, and then you'll make uh, another one. Let's say I want to make some mad eyes. There's multiple layers right here. How many? Okay, just that one. Okay. Let's say I want to make some mad eyes. So I will just bring this in. Oh my goodness, it's double, it's double on this one too. It's double on this one too. And then boom, say I want some mad eyes, just like that. Again, you can put as much time into this as you want. I'm just going to make this pretty fast, just so you guys can get an understanding of what's going on. Now, let's say I want some sleepy eyes, some unimpressed eyes. And then, then let's say for my last set of eyes, for my last set of eyes, let's say I want them to be like happy. They could come up, could be happy. There we go, we have three different eye types. There are four different eye types. So make sure they're placed where you want to be and make sure that each costume looks like they're placed correctly. Now let's make an option for mouths, right? You can feel free to, let's, let's draw a mouth. Let's draw, maybe let's say, let's draw a happy. Let's draw a smile, okay? You just put on them and boom that's where i want the mouth to be i'm gonna label this one and let's say we also want to frown all right 
let's say we want just kind of like a meh face and let's do let's do like a face with some big old cheeks right okay i made that a little large huh bam got some big cheeks we got four different mouths that all look like they're where they're supposed to be fantastic now what we can do is we can make another sprite for like shirts right okay so let's draw a little shirt and all i'm going to do is i'm just going to make it a square right i'm just going to make it a basic little square you can put as much detail into it as you want right and then i'll just adjust it to kind of fit our character right this is going to be the most difficult part it's just working on adjusting it to make it look like the character would actually be wearing it okay Let's kind of bring in the body a little bit Don't want to move the whole sprite. Just want to be moving in the sides of this shirt. This part can kind of come in. Look at that. We can even extend the sleeves out a little bit. Maybe shape around his, his body a little bit better. There, and then there's a shirt. I think it looks pretty well on him. So that could be shirt number one. Maybe shirt number two is blue. Shirt number three is yellow. Shirt number four is green. We have four different shirts too. And you could make bunches of other things. You could make hats, you could make ears, noses. I'm just gonna do these three basic things just for the sake of the tutorial. Now what we're going to do is we are going to set the eyes to go where they're supposed to go. And we're going to do it the exact same way that we set up the character. Right? By just going to where it needs to go and showing. And then you can also have fun and switch the costume to something random. So one through four. I'm doing one through four since I only have four costumes. And then whenever you select it, it'll set a random eye each time. So it'll randomly generate your character each time. And you can feel free to actually grab this and drag it into onto another costume and then let or onto another sprite and then let go. You do this with the shirt too. And then if you look, they're already where they're supposed to be. Just make sure that you update where everything is. So for example, if you look over here, you'll see your X and your Y. Make sure you select those to where they're supposed to be. I'm going to do so right now. That was my Discord, not yours. Sorry. And there we go. Now you see whenever we press this, it'll actually generate a brand new, a random character each time. But we want people to be able to customize them. So how do we do that? Well, if I come to the backdrop, what I can do is I can make a little thing that just tells you what things you can change. So we can say, let's do eyes. Mouth. like that and then shirt just like this and again if you have more options you'll just add more super simple so don't forget to save your project often now what we can do is we can make and we can make ourselves a button I'm going to just grab a button I'm gonna say this one I'll put it down here just like this so we're going to call this the eye button and so it'll be used to for our eyes and i'm going to just add the word next onto this button i'm just going to add the word next right on it we're going to make ourselves a variable okay we're going to make a variable and we're going to call this variable i you're also going to make a variable called mouth and a variable called shirt. 
and the only reason I made three of them is because I only have three options. Again, if you have more, if you have less, that's how many you'll make. So now what we'll do is inside of the I button sprite, what we'll do is we will make sure to do when the green flag is clicked, you will go to where it needs to go and show. You can come to your events tab and do when this sprite is clicked, what we will do is we can, we actually don't even need these variables. I don't even know why I added those. That was a waste of time. I'm sorry. <laughs> so when the green flag is clicked, we can broadcast change eyes. Okay. And then inside of our eyes sprite, when we receive change eyes, we'll just go to the next costume. And we're just going to duplicate this eye button. And we're going to call this mouth button. We're going to put it where it needs to be and change its numbers accordingly. Negative 49. And then we are going to make the broadcast change mouth. And then under the mouth, we're going to do when I receive change mouth, we will go to the next costume. Then we'll do one more button. We're gonna call this the shirt button. Put it right there where it needs to be. Adjust the numbers to where they need to be. And then instead of change mouth, I'll do change shirt. And then in our shirts tab, we'll go change shirt. And then we will do next costume. So now when we start up our game, You'll see that everything, oh, look at that. Look at that. Shirt button went to the wrong area. Oh, I know why. I set the numbers incorrectly. This one needs to be negative 150. Okay. Start the game up, select the item costume. Whenever you press eyes, the eyes will change to the next costume. Need to be, so let's say I want, I want a guy that looks like me. So he's got his eyes closed pretty much all the way he's mad he's wearing i guess blue would be the clo no red would be the closest color i'd wear and then boom you can go ahead and you can just create your own character pretty simple i'm gonna leave the tutorial here thank you guys for watching if you like it like it like it anyways because we made a character creator while you're at i want to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content that helped me out a lot but thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one Peace.